Hi, my name is John J. Vipermunski, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. In a previous video, we showed you how to use the indent feature within a single part file that had multiple bodies. But I wanted to show you how that you can use that in the context of an assembly using the top-down method. Here I set up an assembly with the same components. Um, you can see that I have my plate and my nibs. And in order to revolve it around the nibs around the plate, I actually just created a circular pattern on the assembly level to have them in the same locations. And when I rotate my assembly around, I can see that the nibs actually intersect with the plate. So we'll want to go ahead and apply the indent feature to the base plate, similar to what we did in the previous video. In order to edit a part in the assembly mode, we'll need to go ahead and right click on the part itself, or we can do this on the feature manager tree. And we want to look for the little Tetris piece with a blue cube on it. You'll notice that it says edit part there. This then allows me to gain access to the standard command manager and all of its icons that we see normally in the part mode. What you'll notice is that the first section on the command manager is allocated to let you know that you are working in the assembly mode, but the rest of the icons to the right of that are actually all the standard features that you have set up within your part template. And just like in the previous video, we're now going to go into insert, features, and then the indent command. I'll then select the plate as my target body and then the nibs for the tool region. Now I actually forgot to add in the other two nibs while creating the indent feature. So let me go back in and edit that feature and try to add in uh, all three nibs. And what you'll notice is that even though I've added in the other two nibs into the actual indent one feature, it actually doesn't create the indent around all three nibs. You'll notice that as I rotate this part around. So what that means is that we'll have to actually go in and create this indent feature for each part when you're working within the top-down assembly modeling method. Once we've completed adding in the indent feature for all three nibs, um, let's go ahead and open up the part so that we can see that the indent features are showing up on the part file itself. And uh, you'll notice that it is linked by the little uh, carrot next to each indent feature. This is John Jibar Parbunski for Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video on how to use the indent feature in the top-down assembly method.